Did you see this story yesterday? Massive bear named Hank the Tank on the run from California police. Really? And is that Hank? That is Hank the Tank. Massive black bear named Hank the Tank is wanted by California police for breaking into dozens of homes in a Lake Tahoe neighborhood since last summer. The bear burglar weighs 500 pounds, much more than the average bear, and appears to have skipped hibernation in winter due to a constant food supply. Well, that's kind of interesting. He's so, he's so fat that he doesn't need to, he doesn't need to hibernate. Now, does that, does that apply to our uh, groundhog situation that we, that we uh, talked about? I don't know if you remember uh, Milltown Mel, who uh, ate it before Groundhog Day, and they couldn't get a new Groundhog Day in time because because he uh, well he he died, and apparently they were all hibernating. So I don't know. It says authorities say euthanasia may be necessary because the wild animal has grown so comfortable around humans. Why would you have to kill the bear? Like, even if he is comfortable around humans, just just deal with it. Like, what's wrong with that? And they say, oh, well, and, and look, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't understand all these complexities, but you got a bear breaking into houses. So far, he hasn't killed anybody, which is, that's the important thing. So he's not taking any human life. He's eating some burritos. He's, you know, having some Doritos. You know, just you know, you're having a Coke or a Pepsi. He's he's just living his life, and now you're gonna go kill him because he's comfortable around humans. Now, this seems to be dumb. Like, like does the now that he's now that he's friendly with humans, are we like he's living, he's doing fine? So we need to kill the bear because he's comfortable around humans. That doesn't make any sense. Say wildlife groups are calling for him to be relocated to a sanctuary. I don't care where they put him. Just don't kill the bear. Like you say, well, John, would you take care of Hank the tank? No, no. But we give money to all kinds of stupid things. We got there's got to be money somewhere for to take care of a bear that is comfortable around humans. I mean, what you wouldn't want is a bear that's not comfortable around humans. They would kill you. It's very, 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 very confusing. It says, Hank earned his nickname by hungrily barging his way into locked and occupied homes. It's learned to use its size and strength to force its way into homes, says California Department of Fish and Wildlife spokesman. It, it'll barge through garage doors. It'll barge door through front doors. It'll go through windows. I think that's great. I think that's great. What's wrong with that? It says, also crowned Hing... King Henry in the press. I like Hank the Tank better. Hank is readily identifiable due to his exceptionally large size and dark coat with lighter muzzle. When I see that thing, I'm like, oh my God, that is a huge bear. Normal, non-lethal methods of bear hazing. I don't know what that means such as beanbag munitions, sirens, and dry-firing police tasers, which makes a clicky-clack noise the bears hate, have not been successful in driving Hank away. Well, why are, we, why are we driving him away? He just wants to hang out. It says the Bear League, a local wildlife advocacy group, says Hank got to be his size due to his raging appetite for human food. So there's a league of, there's a bear league, a, a local wildlife advocacy group, okay? And they say they have called for Hank to be trapped and sent to a sanctuary instead of killed and for Lake Tahoe residents to be more vigilant about securing their food in rubbish. All right, so let's try to, like, decompress this statement. Hank got to be his size due to his raging appetite for human food. So I don't have a problem with that. I like human food. It's pretty good. They have called for Hank to be trapped and sent to a sanctuary instead of killed. Well, I, why, why are we killing the bear? 
and called and then th- this part here's a little and and for lake tahoe residents to be more vigilant about securing their food and rubbish r- rubbish okay this bear is busting through garage doors busting through doors busting through windows and you're going to blame the residents for leaving food out no, you need to blame the bear no offense bears breaking through things see what i'm saying it's it's the bear stop pointing the 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 finger at the victim he's not subsisting on a diet of ants and berries like a lot of wild bears do now look like if you're a bear and you got like you know ants like you're 300 how many ants would you have to eat before you feel like full How many berries are even out there? In Tahoe, there's a year-round access to high-caloric food, whether we're talking about leftover pizza or ice cream and just trash. It's easier to find that kind of food than work for hours to remove grubs from a dead log. Absolutely. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. Why would you mess around with ants and grubs when you can just have some pizza or ice cream? Officials have received more than 150 calls about Hank. That's impressive. He's broken into nearly 40 homes, sometimes causing severe damage in just the last six months. The guy is hungry. Officials have received, oh, I'm sorry. I've been in town 40 years and I've been locking my doors recently and I've never done that, said Tim Johnson after the latest break in by Hank on Friday night. The more we don't feed him, the more this isn't going to be the case. So, so how, again, the ta- Hank the Tank is breaking into homes to eat. He's breaking in, like literally breaking down doors, windows, and garage doors. And this man and everyone seems to want to blame us. It's not us. It's not the humans that are the bad person here. It's Hank. Does Hank deserve to die for his transact her, his transgressions? No. No. But I mean, think about this. Like, what if we used a different animal? Like, let's say a squirrel. Say the normal squirrel's like a pound. And then this this particular squirrel ate food and was like 12 pounds. Would you try to kill the squirrel? No, it'd be kind of like, whoa, that's a big fat squirrel. Yeah. So you say, well, well, squirrels can't kill you, but, uh, but big, big bears can. Well, I agree with that. I agree with that. But I mean, I think there's a degree of fat shaming going on here with the bear. And I don't think that's, that's right. I've been, t- I've been told that that's not appropriate. And look, I mean, we've gotten to the point where like, we can do this. We can, we can have, we can put Hank somewhere. I mean, just put him in, I mean, and I don't get mad at me, but put him in like a big cage, like a big one, like maybe an acre where he can just roam around and, and do his bear things and then feed him every day. And like, if he dies of diabetes or something, that's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's better than killing the bear. Why does the bear have to die? Because he's not, you know, and then the, like, let's look at that quote one more time. Let's look at this quote. The more we don't feed him, the more this isn't going to be the case. Well, why don't you just not live in Lake Tahoe? Why don't we have no houses in Lake Tahoe? Because it's making the bears fat. It's just, it just goes on and on and on. So for me, like, I'm proud of Hank the Tank. I mean, he's doing something. It's not, it's scary and dangerous, but he's doing something. And I don't even know how you would trap a bear. I don't, I hope that you don't use those claw trap things. Those are terrible. You know, but I mean, he's a big bear. I mean, I can see that in the picture. He's, he's a good size, but uh, 
this this whole thing about you know well we'll just have to shoot the bear because he's gotten used to humans no 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 you don't have to shoot the bear because he's gotten used to humans remember that monkey or gorilla that like could do sign language I'm I'm pretty sure that that gorilla got used to people and nobody nobody got mad I don't if they did their voices were drowned out by the people that didn't care um do bears do sign language? I mean, can we maybe since he's you know since he's used to us, like maybe maybe we could talk to the bear, like you know, not in soothing tones, but like maybe with you know, you know, sign language. I don't know if I don't know if a bear has I don't know if it has a paw, but I don't know if it has fingers. There's a lot I don't know about this this topic. And and as you as we go on, you'll be stunned at my my ignorance. But you know, I live it every day. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna do with Hank. I I mean I hope there's a peaceful resolution to this. I, I'm not I'm not big on killing anything or I mean now if the thing came at me, it's on, right? Or it's 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 you or me. Him being 500 pounds, me being 44, a little overweight. I mean, I'm probably rocking 220 right now, so twice as heavy as me. I don't know that my chances are very good. Um, are they say play dead. Like if a bear comes at you, like you're supposed to play dead. I don't. I I want to. I kind of want to run away. And they say, well, that's no good because the bear will run after you. Well, I don't know. If you, it's like, how are you going to go out? Do you want to go out as the guy that, like, you know, played dead and then the bear just ate you? Or do you want to go out just running away? Charging the bear doesn't seem like a good idea. That, that, that definitely doesn't seem like a good idea. But uh, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at on Hank the Tank. It's a sad story, but uh, whatever. What are you going to do?